I'll be talking about phone gap build. Um, Jesse touched on a little bit about it, and throughout his talk, he talked about how phone gap, we let you do whatever you want, whatever framework you want. So this, our idea of phone gap build is giving you the freedom from SDKs. Who am I? I'm Shahzran from Tilvi. Um, that's my Twitter handle. Um, I'm frequently on the F phone gap Google groups, helping uh, everyone. Um, usually, I'm, I do iOS. Here's what our server looks like. <laughs> no. um, so, so basically, the, uh, what we have is um, you just give us your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and out, out come, comes apps. We currently support five platforms, um, all the popular flat platforms like iOS, Android, Blackberry, Symbian, and WebOS. And coming soon are Windows Phone 7, Amigo, uh, and Samsung Bada. We also have an API. Um, it's uh, a read-write API. Um, it's, it does almost everything that PhoneGap Build does. Um, you can write apps for it. Um, some, some IDEs, there, there's one Windows IDE that's already using uh, PhoneGap Build API. You can also, through, through PhoneGap Build, uh, if you have a Git repo that's public or private, we can pull your code automatically. I'm going to do a demo of a PhoneGap Build. So PhoneGap Build exists on build.phonegap.com. Um, if you forget the URL, just go to phonegap.com and there should be a link on the uh, homepage. And for most of you, you're not part of uh, PhoneGap Build, just use this form on the front page, and we should get you a beta code uh, pretty quick. So I'll just quickly sign in here. Right now, um, Previously, I, I've already built two, two apps, but right now I'm going to quickly show you how to set up your own app. Just click on the New App button. I'll name it Super App Tree, following the team. So this, this might not work, but I'll test it out. Um, you can pull from Git, GitHub. And we'll, we'll see if it works. Oh, is it? Oh, thanks. <laughs> OK. Yeah, it's their fault. <laughs> so I'll try again. But I've already set up, um, I'll show you the, uh, that www folder. I don't know if you can see it. Um, that's my app. It contains um, index on the HTML, um, a rather old jQuery, and a rather old jQuery mobile, and forgot.js. So I've already packaged this up. So another way for PhoneGap build to uh, get your code is you zip up everything in your www folder uh, and just upload your archive. I got it. Right here. And click on create. Oh, might take a moment. And if you see the bottom uh, row, you'll see Android, WebOS, Symbian, and Blackberry are queued. But iOS has a problem because uh, iOS needs um, your signing key. I won't go into signing keys, obviously, but I've already. I'll show you how it works. Um, if I go into my app, and I'll edit. So at the bottom, bottom right there, you'll see um, you can select keys or add keys for Android, iOS, or BlackBerry. Um, I've already uh, added my, my cert in there, so I'm just going to select it and add a package. Optionally, add a version and click on Save. And if I go back to my apps, 
It might take a half a minute or so, um, but you'll see it update automatically. So as you can see, um, iOS and Android are already built, and BlackBerry is built. So WebOS and Symbian are still bu building, but from all these links, you can download the, um, the packages directly to your uh, system, or if you click on the um, app itself, you'll, you'll get QR codes, so you can scan it from your phone and download it over the air. We haven't perfected the uh, over the air over, uh, for iOS yet, but for the other systems, um, it should work. So if you notice on the top right, there's a button called debug. That's what I'm going to be talking about next, how to debug your, your um, phone gap app. So the technology we are using is called Wiener or winery. <laughs> there's there's two, two camps of pronunciation. Um, it's, it, w it was contributed by um, an IBM employee, uh, Peter Mueller. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly. There. This is his website. Wiener stands for Web Inspector Remote. And it, if any of you have used WebKit Inspector, uh, either on Safari or Chrome, you'll feel at home. So this project was an uh, independent project that's now under the PhoneGap umbrella. So if you go to github.com slash PhoneGap, you'll find this project. Since I can't show you uh, on a device, I'll have to show you on the emulator, uh, the simulator. So, but Technically, if I do debug, uh, and I've already um, put the app on my device, I can debug it straight from the browser. So right now, I'll quickly jump to Xcode, where I have the same project loaded. One thing. Here, I'll show you what I mean by, uh, if you go to debug.phonegap.com, you'll see how to use this um, uh, remote debugging. I'll zoom in a little bit. Step one is you have to enter your own uh, GUID um, and then inject that script tag inside your code. Right now, I'll I'll quickly generate a good and copy it to the clipboard. That's the good I just generated. So I'll just add it right here. And the web service automatically generated me for me a script tag. So I'll copy that. And in my project, this is the same project that I uploaded to PhoneGap Build. Um, I'll edit that script tag right here in the head. This was an old one. I'll delete that. OK, I'm going to run it in the iPhone simulator. Give it a moment. All right. Now I can go back to the browser, which I'll make it smaller. And in step three, you'll see the uh, link to debug this app. Your Someone could have this device uh, way across the world. You can debug it in the browser from anywhere. So you can see right now, it's connected to my simulator uh, from ebay.com. If you use WebKit Inspector, this should be pretty um, familiar to you. Uh, here you can see all the elements on that web page that was just loaded. And if you hover over an element, you'll see it reflected in the simulator. 
So right now, there's a problem with this, this, this app. If I click on check for bugs, it doesn't work. So if I go back to my code, I'll see check for bugs is actually, um, it, should, it should show an alert. Yeah, no more bugs, but it, it doesn't work. So I'm looking at the, um, the code and it should be um, bound to um, an element with the ID bug button. So I'll, I'll look for it. So in here you can see it's called buh but button. So I, it might be a really complex app. I don't want to rebuild and deploy, right? So I just want to debug it quickly. So I'll find a simulator. In the elements tab, I'll, I'll try to find the, uh, the, um, that input element. This is a jQuery mobile um, page. So it should, if you know jQuery mobile, you, you'll know it's in the uh, content data role. So I'll try, there it is, the input button. So I can just double click and just change the attribute to book button. So I'll try clicking on it again. Still doesn't work. So it seems pretty obvious because um, the um, that line was only called when um, the document was ready. Now it, it's not. It wasn't bound to bug button, so we have to bind it again. So all I do is I'll copy these three lines. I'll go back to the uh, debugger. I'll click on the console tab. You can you can check out the. I'll verify that it works. I'll send an alert. Hello PayPal. There you go. So now I've copied those three lines uh, just now, and I can just paste it in. And now that input element is bound to the click handle. So now when I click on it, yay, no more, no more bugs. This console is pretty pretty powerful. Um, for example, if I go to I go to phonegap.com, docs.phonegap.com, and say I want to look at a geolocation code. Okay. I see this example. I just want to run it. I I, I don't want to re rebuild my app. I'll just copy it here. Copy. I can find it. Paste it. That code was just just ran remotely. There's other um, tabs here that if you've used WebKit Inspector, I encourage you to play with WebKit Inspector if you don't know um, how it works. Um, but you can inspect your local storage, session storage, cookies, almost everything that is in the DOM, accessible through the DOM. Um, that concludes my um, debugging demo. Thank you.